the Greyhound. Now I know this is a show on cocktails. Why are we talking about dogs? <laughs> He's a handsome fella, isn't he? Well, let me tell you. My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. Let's see, greyhounds are known to have a cat-like personality. <laughs> they can be aloof and indifferent to strangers, but are affectionate with their own pack. They are generally docile, easygoing, and calm. Now the Greyhound cocktail is anything but docile. It's a great wake-me-upper in the morning. Morning? No, 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 no. Let's say, let's say brunch, at least brunch, okay? The drink dates back to the Prohibition era, the early 20th century. It was probably originally made with back alley bathtub gin. In Harry Craddock's Savoy cocktail book, there's a recipe for a grapefruit cocktail made with gin, fresh lemons, and grapefruit jelly. Can you even buy grapefruit jelly anymore? <laughs> I haven't seen it. This is quite likely the origin of today's Greyhound cocktail. More commonly made with vodka these days, the Greyhound is very simple to make and has evolved over the decades when someone started salting the rim of the glass and gave us the salty dog. It's the same drink as the Greyhound, except that it has a salted rim and, and a different name. The salt was probably added to balance out the sourness of this cocktail. Okay, your basic Greyhound cocktail consists of vodka, grapefruit juice, and maybe a lemon or a lime as a garnish. Now I'm not sure if it's true, but it's rumored that this cocktail was served at Greyhound's popular restaurant chain that was located at bus terminals called Post House. What I am sure about though, and I know is true, is that this cocktail is a refreshing, fruity, citrus-forward drink that will pick you up and maybe knock you down just as fast. Okay, let's make one. Okay, let's make a Greyhound cocktail. First thing we want to do is grab some vodka. I've got some uh, absolute... <laughs> Love that bottle, isn't that nice? Two ounces. Yeah. Followed by a little bit of uh, fresh grapefruit juice. I just uh, double strained this so I got all the pulp out and we're just gonna fill up our glass. Yeah, oh yeah. What a lovely color. All we do now is just garnish. A little lime wheel. Just for color. I got this wonderful little rind of grapefruit. And why not a little rosemary sprig and a straw. Sweet, baby. There's a greyhound. Uh, wow, greyhound cocktail. It's, uh, it's been a long time since I've had one of these. It's a uh, citrus forward and sour. Mm. Make one. <laughs> get on that Greyhound bus and pow, get out of town. Cheers. Wait, before you go, <laughs> I got a story to tell you. The first time I ever had a Greyhound, well, I was boarding a, a Greyhound bus. <laughs> kind of looked like this. You know, it, it really did. It was, it was the early 1970s. And uh, I figured, how poetic. Seeing as a boarding a Greyhound, I might as well make a Greyhound cocktail and take along with me. So I had my ticket in my hand and, and my flask in the other and off I was. I didn't tell anyone where I was going, but I was headed for the big city. I didn't have a job or a place to live, but I wasn't worried. Things would work out. Anyway, 17 kilometers out, you know, close to 11 miles, the bus broke down and we all sat there waiting for another bus to come and pick us up. Well, after close to an hour of waiting, I couldn't wait any longer, so I got off the bus and decided to walk back home. 
It was a sunny day and I knew I wouldn't get thirsty because I had my flask filled with a Greyhound cocktail. It took me all day to walk back home and I often wonder to this day, what would have happened if that bus didn't break down? Where would I be? Well, maybe I wouldn't even be a bartender, who knows? I could have been an opera singer. <laughs> Well, honest, I could have. Or maybe I could have been a doctor. Huh. It's, it's probably best the way it worked out. I'm a bartender. Shut up. It was a sunny day and I knew I wouldn't get thirsty because I, well, I had my, my pocket full of greyhounds. Yeah, jingle, jingle. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I got a greyhound in my pocket, baby. Yeah, I'm thinking, that sounds like a hit song. Okay. Hey, Bruce here. Check out some of these past episodes and make sure you subscribe or you'll miss out on all the fun. Yeah, we have fun here. For more drinks and recipes, check out bartalkandcocktails.com. Thanks for watching. Let's do it again next week.